Hey friends, I really hope you have a wonderful week and yeah, have a blessed week especially. So this week's blog is about a shepherd. I don't know if you've ever seen a shepherd, but me growing up in my younger years um, in Germany, I saw like once or twice a year a shepherd that came by my house and he was just like, yeah, bring all the sheep and herding them and like walking them up the hill next to my house and they were eating there and it was, it was incredible. Like there were like hundreds of sheep. It was blowing my mind sometimes like how wonderful that is. But um, Jesus talks a lot about sheep and shepherds, right? And they call him the good shepherd and so on. But recently I read the story of Jesus, like how he talked about one time like that shepherd that had a hundred sheep and one day one of them got lost and then what does he do like a smart businessman would probably say okay i lost one sheep oh well let's take good care of the other ones and make up for the loss right logical probably business decision but what does the shepherd in the story do he's like no I'm gonna go after that one. I'm gonna go after the one that's missing. And he goes. He tries to find that one. But why does he do that? First of all, he really cares about that one. And he knows that one is probably horrified and terrified and um, afraid of and has nobody that really takes care of it, right? It's just alone. And then secondly, the 99, they have like their community. They have everybody around them so they can protect each other. They're safe. But that one, that's just out there. And he speaks volumes to that one. He says like, I know you are important. You are valuable. And I'm gonna go after you. And I'm not gonna let you get away. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna search till I find you. And then he finds the one, right? So what does Jesus wanna tell us with that story? I believe Jesus wants to tell us, like, there's a lot of 99s out there, right? That are connected. But there are many ones as well that don't have anyone. He's telling us, you are the ones that have to find those ones. You are the ones that have to speak to them and bring them back into the kingdom and bring hope to them again. You're the ones that find them, that search for them, and say, you're valuable enough. You're so valuable that like, I'm gonna leave everything behind just to find you. And in our world today, there might be, you know, a neighbor. It might be a homeless person. It might be a movie star. It might be a billionaire. It might be somebody straight away from the church. It can be anybody. Many, many people, we don't know. That's why it's really important that we ask God. We ask the Father, hey Father, where? Yeah, do you want me to go and who is the one? And then we have to go after that one. And then, you know, when we do that, it's gonna change the life of that person. Cause they gonna feel like, wow, I have somebody in my life. Somebody really cares. Somebody shows like I'm valuable. And that's amazing. You know, and maybe you are that person. Maybe you are that one that Jesus really goes after. And you might be the one that got lost. But let me tell you today, he wants to find you. Let him find you. Don't keep running. Don't be scared anymore. Come back to him. Because he really, really loves you. He really has amazing things for you he's chasing after you so remember that today he leaves 99 behind just to find you that's how important you are that's how valuable you are to him so don't forget this today and if that's you I want you to connect with like a church. I want you to connect with a Christian in your life that you can trust. 
somebody that knows Jesus. And I want you to connect especially with Jesus today. Just spend time praying. Just invite him back. Invite him back into your life. Say, Father, like, I'm here. Find me. And he will come. And for the other ones, let's go. Let's go and find the one. Hey, have a blessed week. And don't forget, let's find the one. Or if you're the one, be found. Love you all. Have a wonderful week. Bye.